Hi, it's Robert from the Bob Sphere. And yes, my face is red. I got sunburnt. And even though I put three applications of sunblock, I don't know why. The sun was too powerful. I also burnt my knee, but that was my fault. Because I forgot to put sunblock there. Oh, I've got a red neck too. I put sunblock on it too. I don't know what happened. Must be the UV rays were magnified by a million. Okay, so, but that's not we're going to, what we're going to talk about. It's all about the books. So, there are different types of books. As a reader, you encounter them. I have my categories. One other than the DNFs, the did not finish. Let's leave those aside. Okay, you got really mediocre ones. Deserves that. You've got the ones that are badly written. But entertaining because they do have they do show promise. This is not a bad book by any means, but it's not great. And you've got the solid reads. Wow, great stuff. That you know you're going to read again, and it's going to stick in your memory no matter what. And then you have the sort of challenging reads that blow your mind, and you embrace them totally. Because, you know, and when you finish them, you know, you're kind of glad you won the challenge. And you'll be enlightened and you'll learn something. That's one example. I have to admit, those are my favorites because I do like overcoming a challenge. And today's book is Reproduction by Ian Williams. And it's one of those. It is a challenge, but I learned a lot of stuff from it and it is absolutely brilliant. So Ian Williams is a Canadian poet. I do not know if this is his first novel. I didn't check that up. All I can say it's great. Okay, so what's it about? So it's about initially two people, Felicia, who comes from an unnamed Caribbean island, and Edgar, who's a German. They meet in a hospital room because both their mothers are dying. Do they hit it off? Sort of. In a way, Edgar forces himself into Felicia's life. And then that's a sort of pattern for this awful relationship in the beginning. Edgar is a person that lies. He leads a double life. I won't say he cheats. I won't cheat. He abuses. And Felicia starts finding this out slowly, slowly, and obviously she wants out. Eventually they do have a child. And then we go to the next part of the book, which is Felicia few in the mid-90s. The book first takes place, I think, in the mid-70s. And then in the mid-90s, now there's Felicia's kid, Army, sort for armistice. And then there's his interactions. And then there's another birth that ends another section. And then we go to the final section, and Edgar develops cancer. It's about family relations in a way, but it's about abuse. It's a very, very 2000, you know, late 2000s book. It's, it's everything you see on the news from Black Lives Matter to me, the Me Too movement. It's all mentioned in reproduction. That's the amazing thing. Uh, in fact, this came out before um, the unfortunate um, events that happened a few months ago in the, uh, in the U.S. But it's, it's a, it makes you very aware of what is happening and how to stop it and how to prevent it and the types of people there are. I liked it a lot. It, 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 like I said, it was an eye-opener. Now, also, that's the, that's, that's the plot. But what about the structure? And that's really interesting too. And I think I can, whoops, all these bookmarks falling out. So let's take a look. You see, it starts out with the X, XX and XY chromosomes and how they meet. And the first half is all about that. And it's divided into 23 sections for each chromosome. So, you know, like the book is reproducing itself. Then, like I said, each section ends with a birth. So, cycle remains. And then there is 
section all about exes. So there's the word exile, just like that. Oh, it's great. Then the book reproduces again and develops. And it, there's a section with over 200, no, not this bit. Let's see, yes. Let's see, with over 200 short paragraphs. Let's see, you see the number? That's 34. Then, when Edgar develops cancer, the book develops cancer. And then you start seeing text within text. Let's see, if you can, I'm trying to focus. Let's see. Like something like this. See the text within the text? Wow. So we've got a book that reproduces itself and then dies in its own way. That's awesome. It's very meta. Okay, I've said a lot about it. Have you read this book? Do you want to read it? Is it a challenge to read? Um, let's say this is very slangy. So, but not unreadable. Once you get used to the first parts, actually just reads like a novel. But the second parts with the teenagers, yes, there's a lot of um, colloquialisms. Stick with it. You will be heavily rewarded. Let's see if one more again. It's a reproduction, Ian Williams. Good. That's all I have for today. Oh, one more, one more. I'll tell you what I'm currently reading. I'm trying to end each video with that. So now I'm reading an Irish author. If I'm pronouncing her word, her name properly, it's Cowlin Lewis. I've only got, I'm only 11 pages in, so I, I have no, I'm still, you know, getting to grips with everything. It's just, so far, it's about a very mischievous girl and uh, her brother who lives in a sort of delusional life. But I have no idea about it. I, I don't know what, what's going to happen. Okay? So I hope you have a good reading week. And see you later.